everyone and welcome back to another Sims 3 speed build. Uh, this house is built in Aluna Island uh, and if you don't know or if you don't have Aluna Island I'll have it posted below for download. Um, it is basically a small island that James from the Sim Supply had created and I enjoy building in this lot to, or in this world just because it is quick for the game to load it. It loads quickly. Um, it runs pretty smoothly. I don't normally have too many problems with it. Uh, and I decided to go ahead and make a house that goes with the surrounding houses on this street. So it's the last one on this street. And um, it is going to cost around 76,000 uh, simoleons. It is three bedroom and three bath. Uh, I enjoyed making this house, um, however this house is also built during the time I was having troubles with my game, so there will be a few times, I'm not sure how many times they'll show up, but there'll be a few times where you'll kind of see the mouse go a little spastic and be like all over the place, and don't worry about that, um, the lot works just fine, that is just my game, um, it has nothing to do with the lot itself. Uh, just something in my game's coding. Um, I think it's in the main, the actual main file, save file, that got screwed up somewhere along the lines. I'm not really too sure. Uh, but I was building this house uh, during the time that I was trying to figure out what was wrong with it, with my game. And so there's going to be a few different times, you know, it's going to have, you know, that issue with the mouse. Uh, so, but of course, you know, the only way I could test it was by building. So, the roof in this house gave me a lot of trouble. A lot of trouble. <laughs> I eventually get it, you know, pretty much the way I want it. And the style looks pretty similar, almost exactly the way, I think anyway, to the way the houses originally are built in this lot, or in this, um, street. So, I think it came out really good. So... Um, yeah, I'm happy. I've never, I never built a house really structurally like this. Now, you'll notice that this house has an actual foundation underneath. Um, basically, I chose to do the foundation because I just thought it looked better. Uh, the two houses next to it, you have one of them is on stilts and one is on foundation. And I just chose to do one on foundation instead. Just because, I, like I said, I like the way that looked better. Uh, and uh, uh, I tried to do it basically the same, not really the same colors as those houses. I wanted it to be a little bit different, but the theme in this island when it comes to the colors is ocean colors, like yellows, bright yellows, uh, light blues, pinks, you know, even maybe a light lavender, you know, light purple color, things like that. So I tried to stick with, you know, pretty much the same colors that's used throughout the island. That way it looks good. And a lot of the porches and stuff are done in white. And um, I'm, I think my early builds, actually, I don't think I used a lot of white when it comes to the porches. But here lately, I have been, and I kind of like it. <laughs> kind of like using the white. So it just seems to give a nice, cleaner look. That's why I have been using it. Um, the main living area is kind of on the small side. Uh, mostly because just the way the house is designed. Um, like the shape. If you notice the shape of this house is actually kind of strange. <laughs> uh, it was a little difficult to get the floor plan figured out. And um, yeah, it, it was... <laughs> gave me a little bit of trouble. A lot of times with the floor plans of the houses, you don't normally see that portion, but a lot of times I just stop the recording temporarily and kind of look at it and just kind of see where I'm thinking I want to put things. Because if I actually recorded myself actually figuring out the floor plan, we'd probably be here for five minutes, and that's including it being sped up. <laughs> I mean, just trying to figure out how to do the floor plan, so... Um, the house has just a, basically a guest bathroom right there when you first walk in. I thought that would be a good place for it. I wasn't really sure what else to do with that little bump out area, but that seemed to go pretty good. I like that. I've done a few, uh, core, or I think they're called ha um, half baths. Yeah, I think that's what they're actually called when you only use a sink and a toilet. I think that's, is it that considered? I think so. Be, maybe not. Maybe it's a quarter. 
I take that back. I think that's a quarter bath. So, um, because I think a half bath would be a, um, a sink, a toilet, and a shower, I believe. And then a three-quarter bath, I believe, is a sink, a shower, and a bathtub. I think I could be wrong. I could be wrong. But a full bath is only considered a full bath if it has all four items. It includes a shower and the bath along with the sink and the toilet. So um, I do tend to use the quarter baths, I believe is what that's called. Quite, I have been using them quite often, so they are kind of nice. They are good for powder rooms, guest bathrooms, things like that. So the guests don't have to walk all through your house trying to find a bathroom. Although, you know, in the Sims, they're going to. They're going to walk all through your house, whether you want them to or not. <laughs> they're going to choose the bathroom farthest away, even though there's one right there. I have had that happen so many times. Um, the house is an open floor plan. I don't mind doing open floor plans, but I like the uh, decorating to be visually... Uh, where you, It looks good visually from wherever you stand, so... I tend to use a lot of the same color or color theme throughout, um, but I try to change it up just a little bit, but like I said, I like to try to have it where if you're standing in the kitchen, it still looks aesthetically pleasing based on the colors and the theme and things like that. So um, there is a little bit of store content, but it is not required for this lot. That one rotary phone is free if you were to do the generations um, registration on the website. So that one is free. I like getting the free stuff and using it. Uh, but there is also a flower pack or flower sack, I think it is. I think that comes with the bakery. So if you don't have the bakery, you're just not going to have the flower sack and something else will be replaced up there. I don't know if I used any other store content or not, but I really like that flower sack. <laughs> I like that one, and I like the, um, oh, what is it? The, um, oh my gosh, I get, oh, cookbooks, that's what it is. I like using the cookbooks, too, so... Um, hopefully when you download this lot, hopefully everything still looks exactly the, you know, the same as what, um, like right there's the little mouth, mess up with the mouse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> hopefully, um, it looks the same as what you see here because when it did that, that meant my game crashed and I didn't see it happening. So like, I didn't even know the mouse was doing that type of weird visual thing until I would actually go back into the video and downsize the video clips and things like that and do some editing. So uh, that would have been right before it crashed and it always seemed to crash during, there goes another one, <laughs> um, always seemed to crash as you can see. There's quite a few of them and I apologize for that. There's not really a whole lot I can do when it comes to being in the video. It's just weird because you can see my mouse moving all over the place, but nothing's being placed. It's just kind of strange. I don't really know. But I did manage to get through the lot. So, um, like I said, it's not the lot, so don't worry about that. You're not going to have problems with your game. Uh, mine, I think, was somewhere in the main coding and not anything else. It was not based on a world. It was not based on a specific lot. It wasn't... I, it wasn't actually based on really anything at all. So, but as the weeks go on, the lots will start to get better. Uh, and eventually, uh, we will basically, when we get into a start, it's not really a starter home, but it's a base game home. Um, then that's where we start getting into some more testing. When I completely removed the game altogether, I had to uninstall the whole entire thing. And I had to start basically from scratch. And of course, I had to do test builds, make sure everything was working okay. So, yeah, I'm a little burned out on building. <laughs> I haven't gone back in and built now for two days, I think. But I also got like nine builds done. So, <laughs> and that's like nine builds in two weeks. So, I'm yeah, I'm a little burned out of it, so, 
Um, all I have to test now is uh, I got to get in my um, Create a Sim cast, uh, the uh, custom content for that. So, oh, and if you're wondering what was going on in that bathroom, why it kept going black on me, that's because it wasn't level. <laughs> Apparently that portion of the uh, ground did not get leveled, but the whole lot has been leveled, so you should be fine. No problems there. Um, of course, there goes my crash. It's crashing again on you, but that was on me, not on you, so. But... Anyway, um, I just gotta get my custom content for my creative sims put in, so my hairstyles and any of my clothing. I don't know if I'm gonna put all the clothing back in. I think I'm just gonna like put a few of them in, get my hairstyles in, and I'll just, I don't know, I'll just go and search again and just download all new. Um, and then I gotta put in my mods after that, just to make sure it wasn't a mod. I'm gonna download all fresh new mods so that way I know I'm getting a fresh copy hopefully and I still have the original I guess if I don't find if I can't if that lot you know if the website for anything like that is no longer available because you know that can always happen um but then after I do that then if it still seems to be okay then I'm going to have a little bit of an idea of what actually caused it but I want to finish going through everything before I actually have an idea of what this could possibly be. So um, I don't think it's anything that I did or any, I don't really know exactly. <laughs> but anyway, we're just basically in the master bedroom here. Um, the, the decorating of the lot is almost done. It's going to crash again here in the bathroom. <laughs> Whether or not we'll see the mouse issues, I don't really know. Sometimes most of the time it crashed on me while I was building, but there was a few times it would crash when I was trying to exit. Yeah, there it goes. Um, there was a few times it would crash when I was trying to go into town view and save, or edit town and save. So, But most of the time it crashed on me while I was using the cast. Um, and I was also asked if I could post, try to post exactly where it was crashing. And there wasn't anything specific uh, other than it was always in build mode. Like one time it crashed on me because I was moving a color palette to a chair. Uh, another time it had crashed on me because I was placing a base game object. I can't remember what the object was, but I remember it was base game. Um, it was just different things. Like sometimes it would crash on me when I was changing color palettes. It was just, oh my gosh, it was frustrating. You have no idea how frustrating it was. <laughs> I did so many suggestions. I did so many tests. It was ridiculous. It was just, oh my gosh, I was getting so frustrated. I was about ready to throw my game in the trash. <laughs> I was getting so upset. Oh my gosh, it was ridiculous. And it's like, you know, I know I have Sims 4 to build, but I just don't like building in Sims 4 quite as much. Um, I just, I don't know, it just isn't the same. I don't really care for it. Uh, Sims 3 was my first, and I guess I'm kind of partial to it. And I just, I don't know what I would do if I no longer could build in the Sims 3, so... Yeah, it was really starting to upset me. I was getting pretty upset and pretty mad because if you think about it, there's quite a bit of money in this game. If, even if you don't do store content, you just get the expansion packs. That's still quite a bit of money. And if you can't play the game and something goes wrong and no matter what you do, even if you reinstall everything and it still is broke, that's like a real like big kick in the rear. Let me tell you, that's... <laughs> That's horrible because that's a lot of money, at least to me anyway. So, uh, it just, I that would have just really upset me. <laughs> but now we're basically going into the landscaping area and, yep, it goes ahead and crashes again. As you can see, it was crashing during uh, terrain changing. It was weird. Um, but, anyway, uh... I was unable, as you could see, to get what I normally do with the stairs where it has the foundation area going beside it on the front steps to completely do it. A lot of times, if it only does partial, 
A lot of times it's because the ground isn't level, but no matter how many times I leveled out that ground, no matter what I did, it wouldn't go, it wouldn't show up. So I just thought, you know what, screw it. I'm tired of fighting with it. We're just going to stick a bush. We'll just throw a bush in the way and cover it up that way. So <laughs> I actually kind of like the decorating, the exterior decorating of this house. I think it goes very well. It looks very beachy, I think. I use those big fern things or whatever they are banana leaf plant i think is what it's called um and just lots of colors and lots of plants i think it turned out really nice i was very happy with it um the gates the fences do have gates so the sims can exit and enter i only put one pathway to one um i just didn't know if i was going to like too much of another path so basically i just made it look like the sims walk that way a lot by having dead grass and maybe a little mud or dirt uh to that gate so and a little bit of kids playground area not a lot um i do see some who build and they have these lavish gardens and this beautiful like pool area and lounge areas and these play sets and stuff but here where I live um, that's not common that is really not common to see you're not gonna see super lush gardens here or um, really fancy backyards most of the time around here you see an up ground, above ground pool not so much an in-ground pool I'm going to say probably because we have cold and snow and ice and it's a little bit more of a pain to take care of an in-ground pool, I guess. But the, my exterior decorating a lot of times is based on what you'll see around here. And sometimes you have nice gardens in the front, but in the backyard it's usually just a few trees here and there and maybe a playset or something. That's really about it. And a lot of times, you'll even see in the front yard, sometimes there isn't anything other than a few trees and maybe a couple of bushes. So um, that's kind of where my exterior decorating comes from, I guess, is basically what I see around here. But as you can see, this build is about done. Um, the screenshots are almost over. So if you enjoyed, give this video a thumbs up. Leave your comments and suggestions below. And I will see you next time. Have a wonderful day. Bye.